Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, I thought today, uh, this week, I would talk to you guys a little bit about uh, some of the issues that I did have to go through when I was losing weight. Um, one thing that comes up a lot, too, is, uh, you know, people ask me how I dealt with depression. And uh, that was a big part of uh, my life growing up, and I didn't realize it. Um, when I was younger, I developed a depression. When I was bullied as a kid, I was picked on, and uh, I, I had developed a depression at a pretty young age and hadn't even realized that it was undiagnosed. Um, it's one of those things that people just don't talk about much. And, uh, you know, now looking back at it, I'm a bit more comfortable, you know, sharing that. But um, there's certain things that, you know, even to this day, even after being healthy and losing weight, I still deal with depression off and on. Um, I still have down days here and there. And, um, you know, I see a therapist uh, every two weeks and uh, he's been a great help to me, um, as well as having Jackie's support and uh, the support of friends as well. But um, as far as depression goes, you know, one of the big things that, that you know, this has been told to everyone, you know, it's been said to death, but um, exercise was a massive key to helping with depression and uh, just um, the endorphins that you get when you're done exercising, you know, it's kind of a natural high and uh, it's always been something that, you know, I never wanted to do at first, but once I started doing it, I just got hooked on it. And uh, I got to say, if you're having a bad day, go out and run a mile, go out and walk a mile, ride your bike, do something. And uh, I guarantee you will feel better afterwards. I guarantee it. And uh, exercise is absolutely just paramount. It's so important to your well-being, um, to feeling better about yourself, and uh, just to your general health, you know. But, uh, you know, as far as uh, depression goes, you know, obviously, you know, we'd recommend you see a doctor, um, you know, possibly see a therapist. But, uh, you know, I'm not a medical professional. All I can say is what worked for me. And uh, exercise was the best thing that I ever did. Um, as far as just helping with my depression. Um, otherwise, I mean, there were, there were a couple of other experiences. You know, I, I kind of joke with a friend of mine uh, named Luke. Uh, when I was in London this last time, we went over to the uh, Tower of London, uh, which I don't know if you guys know what that is, but the Tower of London is where they used to keep prisoners uh, in medieval times, uh, all the way up until the 1940s, I think. But um, they used to torture people and try to get confessions out of them. And you hear all these crazy medieval type things going on there. And um, there's this, uh, this is kind of grotesque, but I'll talk to you guys about it anyways. Um, there's these different torture devices they used to do. And, uh, you know, one's called the rack, which is notorious as being the, uh, the worst, most brutal kind of torture you can go through. And, uh, we went to another exhibit in the, uh, in the, uh, Tower of London. And, um, there's this thing that's called the scavenger's daughter. And uh, Luke and I were checking out this uh, this torture device, and basically the the victim crouches down into a kneeling position on the ground, puts their head between their knees, and a metal bar is wrapped around their uh, their back, and that's pulled tighter and tighter, and their body gets constricted, and uh, apparently after reports, um, they've heard from the prisoners that this was the absolute worst form of torture that anyone could go through. And uh, Luke and I were kind of joking around, you know, I had a bad day the day before and I was kind of in a bad mood and um, Luke kind of looked at me and we kind of looked at each other and joked and I said, well, you know, I may be having a bad day, but at least I'm not in the scavenger's daughter. <laughs> so um, that kind of puts things into perspective, you know, and uh, after talking to Jackie and, um, you know, feeling sorry for myself, you know, and all these things and it could always be worse. You know, there are people out there that struggle, that deal with all kinds of illnesses. And, you know, no matter what you're going through, um, you know, I'd hate to say the grass is always greener on the other side or something like that, but things could be worse. You know, I, I'd say just take, take, take every day, you know, one step at a time and just, uh, just kind of realize that, you know, Hey, you're not in the scavenger's daughter. Things could be worse. So, um, I hope that helps you guys. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, send me messages, uh, you know, if you guys want something else in one of the videos, let me know what you want me to talk about. And, uh, you know, I'll get back in touch with you guys next week. Um, for those of you that, uh, that have helped out with the, uh, with the fundraising page, you guys are absolutely amazing. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you guys have been so unbelievably generous and I cannot thank you enough. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Anyways, uh, you guys are great. I will uh, catch up with you guys next week and uh, keep in touch. Bye.